Good morning. Oh, where have you been? Uh, what time is it? I went fishing to catch us some breakfast. Mm, thank you, Mug. But we have all the food we need. A warrior can't survive on fruits and nuts. I woke up in the middle of the night dying of hunger. Listen, Monk, I appreciate the thought, but we'll have berries for breakfast. Suit yourselves, but I need something more substantial. The smell makes my mouth water. Before we set out on this journey, Pocahontas and I agreed we'd only eat vegetable foods, partly as a form of sacrifice, and partly to eliminate any form of aggressiveness in ourselves. When the soul and shadow leave a person's body, they're reclaimed by Mother Earth to nourish the plants. The plants, in turn, nourish animals and people, and the circle of life is complete. I've always respected this principle that's contained in the sacred laws of our nation. There, breakfast is ready. You two can do what you like, but I have no intention of seeing good food go to waste. You're right, Mok. It's the circle of life. But both of us have made a pledge and we have no intention of breaking it. That's no problem. Just means more fish for me and more fruit for you. And everybody's <laughs> happy. <laughs> here. Fir trees, maple trees, every kind of tree. Look, there are even cherries over there. Let's stop and pick some, Hobie Ho. We'll lose Mark if we do. He doesn't realize we've stopped. He never seems to rest. Right, the Mohicans have the reputation of doing everything twice as fast as everybody else, even walking in the woods. Ah, there's nothing better than the air up here. It's so wonderful to be close to home again. <laughs> it's these mountains and valleys that give we Mohicans our zest for life. Look, this is the land of my people, the land of the Mohicans. Our hunting ground stretches far as the eye can see. What marvelous country! If we make a small detour, we can spend the night at my village. What do you say, Pocahontas? No, that's out of the question. We'll waste too much time. What's the difference? You know we're on a mission. I'm a stone's throw from my village and I can't stop in? I don't know the custom of your tribe, but in mine, it's the majority vote that counts. So we keep going, two against one. Shame on you. What? You never lose the opportunity to argue about something. I know you belong to different nations and have different characters. You both have so many good qualities, so why can't you learn to accept each other and work together? How can we expect people to live in harmony when we can't ourselves? Mock! Wait, come back here! You mind telling me where you're going without saying goodbye? <laughs> you won't get rid of me that easily. I want to see what you think of Niagara Falls. <laughs> I've changed my mind. You're right, Hopi Ho. My village can wait. I hope you mean it, Mark. It's so hard to tell if you're joking or if you're serious. We're delighted to have you with us. But if you make me angry, if you start playing stupid tricks again, I'll... I don't play stupid tricks. You watch what you're saying. Look, fight if you like, but I'm leaving. Catch up with me when you're hey, through. Hey, no! No, wait! Pocahontas! We've been...
been walking for days without seeing a soul. Don't you find that strange, Mark? At this time of year, everybody moves up into the hills for the maple syrup harvest. Are we still in Mohican territory? No, we've just crossed the border into Iroquois territory. You're deluding yourselves if you think you can talk peace to the Iroquois. Why? Because the Iroquois <coughs> are only interested in making war. They fight all the people who live around them. They used to fight among themselves, too, but a few years ago they created a confederation. Do you mean the League of the Five Nations? Yes, exactly. Now they're more powerful than ever. They're constantly on the warpath against our brothers the Hurons, the Erie, and the Susquehannan. And they won't stop until they've conquered all the territories that border on their own. I know you have a mission, but in my opinion, you're wasting your time talking to tribes like the Iroquois. Oh, the Great Spirit has ordered us to talk to all the peoples. Suit yourselves. Now, enough of that. It's so hot, I'm dying to take a swim. Join me. I don't know about Hoppy Ho, but I love to swim. <laughs> Can't you swim, Hoppy Ho? You forget I come from a region that has no water. Take my hand. I want to stay in some more. Huh? Bye, little bird. My feathered friend gave me some interesting news. Really? What did it say? Actually, she's a she. Just answer the question. Will you relax? Apparently, there's a whole bunch of people heading north. So that's why there's no one around. Maybe. She also told me there are a lot of vegetables growing around here. Onions and... That is interesting news, but there's no one to give us anything. I told you they're all heading north, which means there's no one around to object if we help ourselves. For once I agree with you, Mark. We won't be stealing. The fruits of the sea and the ground belong to all living creatures. The great Hopi Ho has spoken. And the great Mark has spoken, too. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go look for some vegetables? Right. Look, a whole field of melon, and they're ripe too. There are potatoes, oh. carrots, beets. It's late, it'll be dark soon. I'll go set up camp on the riverbank. Thanks.
What are you doing on our territory? <gasps> we kill people who trespass on our lands. Put down your weapons. We come in peace. If that is true, why is there a Mohican with you? We each represent a different nation. We mean no harm. We'll let you two go, but the Mohican stays with us. No! He wears the peace band! There can never be peace between the Mohicans and the Iroquois. He must die. No! you continue to attack the Mohicans, you force them to defend themselves. Why can't the Mohicans and the Iroquois live in peace together? Why do you always have to hate each other? I don't know. It was always like that. Well, it's time that things changed. Why don't you come with us to the great gathering of the tribes at Niagara Falls? What do you say? Once you're there, you can discuss the problem with your people. You're going to the gathering, too? Many people on their way there have already crossed our lands. We're going to the gathering to deliver a message from the Great Spirit. The chief of our tribe is on his way to the gathering, too. Hey, you dropped your knife. You should be more careful. Allow me to introduce Pocahontas, the daughter of Chief Powhatan. And he is... If you don't mind, I'll introduce myself. My name's Mark of the Wolf He's Tribe. He's the son of... The chief of the Mohicans. Yellow Wolf is sorry for what happened. Oh, did something happen? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> 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 this is Hoppy Ho. His father is chief of the Hopi Nation. I am Yellow Wolf. I belong to the Falcon tribe of the Seneca people. The path to the Niagara Falls is long and dangerous. Allow me to escort you there. Sorry, pal. They don't need you. They've got me. <laughs> Don't forget, you're in Iroquois territory. We eat braves like you for breakfast. Ugh. I'll show no, you. Mark. Don't do it. How many days will it take to get to the falls? Five if the Mohican doesn't slow us down. It may take you five days, but a Mohican can do it in three. If you two don't stop bickering, we'll never get there. Let's go. Will you please try to control yourself, Mark? We're on a peace mission, don't forget. Sorry. We'll get there in two days, at this speed. The whole world knows the Mohicans are faster than the Iroquois. You know, there was an old warrior in our village who used to tell us no matter how fast you run through the forest, look out, there'll always be a Mohican behind you. Your old warrior was wise. He was trying to tell you that the Mohicans never give up. You don't mean give up, you mean catch up. Hmm. Why don't we both give up? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a rest. Why don't you go find the others, all right? That's amazing. I could swear it understood what you said. All animals can understand me. Oh, really? You'll have to introduce me. <laughs> oh, uh, what are you looking at? This necklace? Here, be my guest. Uh, no, no, I, I can't. I was just curious, that's Come all. Come on, it's a gift. It'll seal our friendship. Come on, I'll be offended if you refuse. No, really, I... I won't take no for an answer. Keep it. It's yours now. Wear it. Do anything you like with it. Ah, they've caught up with us. Why did you leave us behind? Sorry, we acted like fools. Anyway, we made peace. I'm so glad. But what happened to Mark? Why is he staring at that necklace like that? 
because I'm in a very embarrassing situation. Why? A friend just gave me this beautiful necklace, and I, I don't know what to do. Why don't you wear it? It looks magnificent to me. The great Manitou has warned me that if I don't give it to you, he'll turn me into a pillar of stone. So please take it, otherwise I won't be able to move. Oh. Mop looks like he's lost his mind. You'd better take it, quick. Thank you. I knew it. It looks perfect on you. I don't believe your story about Manitou, Mop. But thanks anyway. I'm not the one you should thank. It's Yellow Wolf. Oh no. I give the necklace to Mock. I don't deserve your thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I was given the necklace by some pale faced fur traders known as English. Pale faces? In any case, I thank both of you for this marvelous gift. Well, thank Yellow Wolf more than me. <laughs> That's a strange looking plant. I've never seen it before. It's wild rice. Oh, can you eat it? Yes, but it's very unusual to see it here. Usually it only grows in warm, humid climates. In these parts, it's too cold in the winter and not humid enough in the summer. Really? What do you eat normally? Sometimes we go hunting, but normally we eat what we call the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. Nature gives us everything we need. Pocahontas and I don't eat meat. Are you thirsty, Pocahontas? Yes, I'd love something to drink. What's that? <sighs> Maple syrup. Try it. It's great. Here. It's sweet, but very thirst quenching. Go ahead, try it. You're right, it's delicious. This is the season for it. The trees are tapped every year, and there's a big party when it's over. Tell me something, Yellow Wolf. Do all the Iroquois wear belts like yours? Yes, look. Each symbol represents a tribe of the Five Nations. We are all united in the name of peace and brotherhood, under the symbol of the eagle perched on the fir tree. It's on the lookout night and day, making sure that nobody breaks the peace. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, look! What's that water? That's Lake Erie. Come on! We have to cross it to get to the gathering. Ugh, you can't even see the other side. Come on, this is no time to rest. But how are we gonna get across? Look, Yellow Wolf's warriors have found canoes. Come on, we're going by canoe from here. Hey, this canoe is really easy to paddle. Yes, and they're really reliable, too. But other tribes have canoes that are even faster. <sighs> this is a really amazing place. I never saw such interesting scenery. You're right, Poppy Ho. Isn't it lucky we met Yellow Wolf? <laughs> you were afraid, huh? Phew. You know, this is the first time I've ever been in a canoe. You're doing very well for a beginner.
My people have gathered to welcome you, Pocahontas. What will they do when they see there's a Mohican with you? Don't tell me you're afraid. Mock the great warrior? Don't worry, Mock. All the tribes are here. Your friends, the Algonquin, will protect you. 